everybody, this is Six Spider, and uh, I want to talk and show you how I uh, personally play Tribes Ascend. In the past, when I used to play uh, Tribes and Tribes 2, I always played Light Defense. Because of Tribes Ascend has the um, class system that uh, High Res put upon us, uh, I played the Soldier, which is a medium class. Medium class means I can get to high speeds, it's a bit difficult, but I can get it. And I'm fairly durable, so I can get a lot of damage. What I want to cover is uh, the perks that I'm using, uh, lookout and base maintenance, uh, chase cases. Well, what happens in a chase, and you know, disc jumping while ca while uh, chasing, uh, support other uh, teammates while chasing, and of course, uh, suicides at the end of the chase if needed and I'll show some of some of those cases uh, I want to show how to deal with the flags uh, or with the flag basically once it's on the ground do I need to return it do I, I don't want to return it uh, if I don't return it what's the hazard of not returning it and well basically why it's dangerous or why it's good and the last thing that I'll cover is um, how I cover long distances in very very short time so let's get to it So let's talk about the perks that I have. Uh, the perks that I'm using are the egocentric that can be unlocked from the Pathfinder skill tree. It gives you less self damage by 35%, and the looter that gives you 50 more percent of fr of ammo from ammo drops. Uh, that can be unlocked in the soldier skill tree. The reason I'm using them. Uh, the ecocentric because I use a lot of disc jumps and to get to my target so I don't want to be obviously damaged a lot when I get to my target and the looter uh, I use the looter because I don't use the eagle pistol uh, this is a hit scan weapon and I despise them and I don't ever 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 use it Sometimes I use it to sh uh, shoot down missiles, or, or if I have full health, I'll just let the missile hit me. I don't care. So, yeah, that's why I'm using those two. Uh, disc jumps, and to pick a lot of ammo, because since I don't use the pistol, uh, I shoot a lot of discs. Um, that's it. So what is base maintenance? Basically, base maintenance is help with the generator and making sure that there is no enemies around the base, just strolling around. In this example, I'm making sure that the flag is secure. As you can see, the flag is secure. And I'm like, oh, okay, I'll just go through the generator room, shoot a disc, shooting, no one there, and going back, see that the base is clean, going back to my position. As I'm going back, I see that there was someone actually there that just destroyed the generator. I'm going back to the generator room, trying to help out, getting the enemy, throwing a grenade in, to make sure that the room is still clean, getting the repair gun to help the technicians to fix the generator, and then I'm going back to my position. Uh, this is what I see as uh, base maintenance. Help whoever you can while the flag is secure. So what is base lookout, basically? Uh, because I say lookout and base maintenance. Base, base maintenance is more about the generator and helping fixing stuff like the, um, the turrets or whatnot. The lookout com goes without saying. Be in a position where you can start a chase very, very fast and uh, be in, uh, in, in the upper hand, basically, from the capper. And just look around, always making sure you see the flag, and uh, just help the other chasers and everyone just to get the flag back. That's it, basically. What I'm showing you now is the classic. Uh, case of return the flag as quickly as possible, frag the capper or the or the carrier, whoever that might be, because he might transfer the flag to a heavy or whatever whoever that is. Um, return the flag, commit suicide because you don't need to be there anymore. Um, there's definitely your your job is done. You got nothing to do there anymore. Uh, this is the classic case of flag in base, and I'll show you that now. So here I am, I'm following him uh, into the base, and there he is on the corner, get him, return the flag, and commit suicide. My job is done. 
that's it. I want to show one more case of uh, flag return and then commit suicide. Uh, the, this is the case of very very close proximity to the enemy base. You don't want to take that chance ever that uh, your flag might be retaken. So this is what I'm showing now. And as you can see I'm following him, trying to get him. And the second I get him, I'm in their base basically. I return the flag and commit suicide. I don't want to be there and definitely return the flag as quickly as possible. You don't want it to be retaken. Commit suicide in tribes is not always um, an option. Uh, in this case, for example, I actually have really good speed and I see a, uh, I just return the flag and I can go back to the chase basically and get the flag again. There's no need to commit suicide because of my speed and because of my health condition. Um, there's no point of that. Not always. I want to talk about uh, a chase support. Um, I call it chase support. What it is basically, while I'm in a chase, I my main agenda is always the the flag carrier. Uh, I don't care about anything else. However, if I see an enemy on the way, I'll shoot him. I might hurt him, I might kill him, I might... Uh, you know, if he's on the way to my base and he's half damaged, that's that's helpful for my team. So, these here are uh, two examples. Sorry, I'm on the chase. And... Oh, there's a heavy. Just shoot him. Yeah, whatever. But I can still... Oh, my eyes always on the flag capper. And then I see a tank, shoot the tank, and just keep going with my main target. Here is another example. I see someone in a tunnel, shoot him. Yeah, I, I got him, but it's not, I don't really care about what's going on behind me. Another person, I actually fragged him, that, that's good. And keep going with my main agenda, which is the flag carrier. That's what I call chase support. The last uh, chase case that I'll talk about is uh, disc jumping. Uh, it's very important in the game. Any jump with self uh, damage is good. Um, you know, thumpers or whatever. Uh, it gives you a lot of speed, really fast, and um, usually you'll get the upper hand because it also shoots you up in the air, so you'll see the target from above, which is always good in tribes. So in this case I just uh, respawned, and uh, the second I respawned I noticed that my flag was taken. I give him the first disc jump, then again another disc jump when I hit the ground. I'm above the target, it's easier to get him, and I'm getting him fairly easily. Um, this is disc jumping, basically. There's another uh, case of returning the flag that uh, I want you guys to see. This is a case of chasers alone in the f with a flag in the field, and someone's coming, an enemy is coming. I did that uh, during a live uh, game, a commentary during a live game, so I'll just play that clip and uh, you'll see what I mean. He's down. Okay, they they secured the. Oh, someone's coming. Uh, flag back. Yeah. If that happens, I always prefer to bring the flag back because I can't take the chance of losing that duel, and he'll take and he'll retake the flag. So the biggest problem we have in uh, tribes ascent, um, a lot of people returning the flag extremely fast. The second they get the kill for the. Um, flag carrier they return the flag and even if I wait some many many times it happens that someone come just comes and, sh and sweeps and return the flag um, the reason we never never do it um, well there's a few if we don't have the enemy flag there is no need to just wait there's a high possibility that someone is already in our base waiting for, for our flag to be returned and the biggest thing is while we chase the flag carrier all our chasers are around the flag. If you return the flag so so fast, there is no one in the base to cover that, you know, that issue, <laughs> which is our flag. The only one in the base will probably be the heavies, which in my case that I'm showing now actually is incorrect. If you look closely, you'll see that we actually have two heavies here, a pathfinder, and me as a soldier. So basically, almost all our defense is around the flag, and that's why usually you don't return the flag so fast. 
Well, now I want to talk about uh, sometimes when you wait uh, to return the flag, it well, that process can fail big time. Uh, as I'm waiting, I didn't even notice that someone's coming, uh, and now I'm trying to uh, set things right, but uh, the flag was already taken, re-grabbed uh, by this uh, player. And now I'm in, a, in a trouble, I can't get to it, and uh, I need to do it quickly. Uh, I didn't guard, guard it uh, well enough, and um, this is how it ends. So sometimes it's a bad thing as well. Uh, now I'll talk about something that is really important for me. It's to cover large distance in a short time to intercept the, the capper. I'll give two examples, one in Katabatic and one in Dry Dock. Uh, so, as you can see here, uh, this is Katabatic, a uh, large scale map, uh, and the routes are pretty much known, like there's no, you know, no mystery to what the capper might do. They might change the route during the chase, uh, which is sometimes a problem, but basically we know the routes, we know where they're going to go. So this is the capper route that uh, I see, and uh, let's say he's going from my base behind the ridge, through the, there's a plateau there, through the dragon teeth and then to his uh, base. Uh, I took this picture from the point where I'll, where I stood just to, well, and I could explain that better. So I'm not gonna chase him around the ridge, there is no point of me to do that. Uh, it takes a long time and I'll probably miss him. So what I do is this, uh, basically I'm taking a shortcut. Uh, the yellow mark where I'm gonna do a disc jump. The disc jump is because I don't have enough speed to catch him where the X is, but I want to catch him where the X is. I don't want him to get to the plateau with the dragon teeth because it's very hard to get them there. I want to get them before. And uh, this is the result. This is what uh, what you you'll see. So I'm I see that he's uh, he capped the he capped the flag. Uh, not capped. He grab the flag, I can see where he's going, I know the route, I know where he's going. So I'm just going from the side, shooting that dude, uh, maybe I can help someone on the way, miss, no, no biggie, that's not my agenda. Disc jump, you can see two other chases on the left, closing on him, he is totally, you know, he's not in a good shape, and this is done. And uh, now, uh, I'll show you <coughs> another map, this is Dry Dock. So this is the this is the map, and it's pretty much the same. We know the routes, we know where they're gonna go, we know what they'll do. Again, they could change it, and if they change it again, that's a problem. But right now, it's not. Anyway, I need to cover a, lo a long distance in short time to get them. So the capper took this route, and you can see. He's going uh, th through basically the regular route, which is uh, just between the bases, in the plateau between the bases. Uh, he could take the upper uh, route, but for this case it doesn't matter, because what I'm going to do is will apply for both routes. So what I'm doing is this. I just spawned, and this is just one example, right, but basically that's what I do a lot. I just spawned. I can either do two disc jumps or one disc jump, it depends. It depends on how fast I need to get there. If I if we have their flag, you know, so eh, we can take a bit more time. Or if it's close to a cap, that's a problem. But anyway, that's the route I'll do, and I'll basically get to him before he gets to the base. And um, and this is how and this is how it looks right here. So I can see him on the left, and I know the route. One disc jump getting very very high uh, you know not the high that I want but still high and it's right there and I got to him very very cl quickly uh, this is gonna end really really badly because it gives me an uh, air disc to the face but uh, basically he's getting busy and when he's busy with me that's good because he's not busy with the route that he wants to take to cap um, this is what I have to say about uh, long distances and short time I hope uh, this was helpful for you and you enjoyed this uh, video. This is uh, Six Spider signing out. See you in the field.